The more you know, the less you know. Hey guys, it's G from The Effort here to review Come Sunday, a Netflix film. Now, Come Sunday is adapted from a show called American Life, and there's an episode in there called Heretic about, about Carlton Pearson, uh, a bishop who created a church called the Higher Dimensions Evangelistic Church. And essentially what happened was he got a message from God, or he said he got a message from God saying that there is no actual hell. This new way of thinking shook the bedrock of what he's created, uh, and it branded him a heretic. And everybody around him, from the congregation who leaves, from the people that are staying, all sorts of other parts to what he's created start falling apart. He has to try to pick up the pieces and really rediscover himself, his faith, and what he believes in, while everybody else around him is really just not sure what to make of this. And so it's based on actual events, I would imagine loosely based as most of this stuff is. I don't want to get into any religious talk. Um, yeah, let's just get into it. The performances. The performances in this are quite good even from somebody like a jason siegel who we haven't seen for a while he plays the manager of the church very very well done especially when we haven't heard from him for a while there are moments with him and chiwetel ejiofor who plays carlton pearson he tells him he's like i've been with you for 20 years i've devoted myself to you and what you've been teaching for 20 years and now you're thinking this other way. I can't accept that. This is this is too much for me kind of thing. And there, there's a really, really good moment there. So Jason Siegel did a really good job. Condola Rashad, who plays his wife, also really good. She also has a really good moment where she's explaining, essentially, that I didn't necessarily choose this life. Everything between me and the bishop were arranged to an extent. And I'm just with him going along with the motions. And you can tell in her performance specifically in the quieter moments, how that is weighing on her, especially when she has a family to raise. Martin Sheen's in this. He's pretty good, too. Uh, Danny Glover's in this for a little bit. Also very well done. But the two standouts, I would say, by far, are Lakeith Stanfield and Chiwetel Ejiofor. Lakeith plays a homosexual, you can imagine, is not a very easy life to live in this church surrounding, and he ends up being diagnosed with HIV as well. But you see this guy in Get Out, and you could tell he's going to be good. The performance that he gives in this bumps him even more up to a great. And having to be across from a guy like Chiwetel Ejiofor, who is a phenomenal actor, is really tough to do. But he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, and it's great. They have a couple of scenes together that are quite powerful and have a lot of meaning and a lot of messages behind it. And of course, Chiwetel Ejiofor carrying this whole thing very well. This is a really good performance from him. There is emotion, there's passion, there is gravitas, there is so much to his character that he brings out and it is great from even in the early moments when everything's good and he's just preaching. You're along with him. He's got that presence. And then when things are falling apart and he's got his quieter moments where he is struggling and he's breaking down, those are where it really hit. And between Chiwetel and Lakeith, there is one moment with him towards the end that is just, it is them putting on an acting clinic. And so hats off to those guys for sure. But everybody was really good in this. Also, the other thing I will add before I get into the next one is it doesn't shove the beliefs down your throat in the way you might think. We live in a time now where everybody should be accepted, and I believe that. Above all things, I think everybody should be accepted and should live their lives as happy and as peaceful as they can. But I know about the other side as well, which is a by-the-book side, and what they do is they make you feel for both sides based on the actions of Carlton Pearson and the moments when he's branded a heretic and you're sitting there getting really frustrated with everything, especially when he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other bishops. But then you're also feeling for the Jason Siegels, for his wife, for the rest of the congregation, for Martin Sheen's character who is uh, like a father figure. And they don't try to push you one way or another, which I appreciate it. It's really good to see that. And I think it's something that everybody could look at and, and understand Depending on what your beliefs are, it doesn't matter because I really think there's a message here for everybody and an understanding for everybody because that's the point. Again, we live in a world where we want to understand and accept other people and understanding something that you may not always agree with or don't agree with wholeheartedly. You don't have to, you're not going to end up walking away from this and saying, yep, I'm switching. It's just it's going to give you a different perspective, which I think is very important. And they do that 
in a pretty good way that doesn't shove anything down your throat. It's not groundbreaking by any means, but I think a lot of it does hinge on the characters themselves and how they're portrayed by the actors and how specifically some of these are masterfully portrayed by the actors. So if it wasn't for how good the actors are and how good the performances are, this won't be anything too spectacular, too groundbreaking. The messages would be, but I think the delivery is where it really matters. And there is something missing. I don't know what it is. So I don't know if I can put it on a bad thing, but I just wanted just a tad more of something and I can't figure that out. So come Sunday, whether you're religious or not, I don't think it matters. I think it's a good story. It's a, a pretty interesting story, especially about this Bishop Carlton Pearson and the movement that he created afterwards. I think it's important to watch, uh, specifically if you are religious. I would say that if you are very religious and you're very by the book, I would say take a look at this because, again, perspectives are important. And there are a lot of really good messages in here for the way the world is going. And not in the sense that it is heresy. It's just another way to look at things. And so for that reason alone, and especially the performances, I would recommend you check this out. So, come Sunday, if you've seen it, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. You can find me on Twitter at the F4G. You can email us at the podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following us on Instagram on Entertain Facts. Also, we do our live show every week, every Friday on our Instagram. So, if you are around and you do want to just hang out with us and give us your questions or answer the questions that we pose to you, favorite movies, stuff like that, you can always join us. It's awesome. We release it again on YouTube. However, I've now started to release them on audio as well. So if you want to just listen to the audio version of the live show with the questions from the fans and us bringing news topics to the table, you can find us on Anchor. The description's in there below. And until next time, I'm G and I am out.